Hi, this is Teacher Eldon, and welcome to my channel. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about how to add mixed numbers. Mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. And in this lesson, it's gonna be important for you to know that even though plus symbol doesn't appear between the two parts of a mixed number, still, they're being added together. So an example of mixed number is 4 and 1 half. And 4 and 1 half is the same as 4 plus 1 half. So you will just add the whole number with the fraction to get the mixed number. Another example is 3 and 1 fourth. That is 3 added to 1 fourth. Another example is 2 and 5 over 8. Adding a whole number with a mixed number is very easy because you will just add the whole number separately with the fraction. Let's say for example, 2 plus 3 and 1 fourth. 2 plus 3 and 1 fourth can be written as 2 plus 3 plus 1 fourth. So you will add 2 and 3 that is equal to 5 plus 1 fourth. So that is equal to 5 and 1 fourth. Remember that you will add separately the whole number and the fraction. So the whole number in this example are 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 that is 5 plus 1 fourth. So we have 5 and 1 fourth. And that is our answer. How about if we will add a mixed number with a fraction? How can we add a mixed number with a fraction? So let us have an example. We have 1 and 3 over 8 plus 1 over 8. So again, that is equal to 1 plus 3 over 8 plus 1 over 8. So we will just copy that 1 and then we will add the fraction. Since 3 over 8 and 1 over 8 are similar fractions, therefore we can simply add them. So 3 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is 4 over 8 plus 1. So we have 1 and 4 over 8. So this is our answer. But if your teacher wants you to simplify your answer, you need to find the lowest term of your answer. So in this case, both of these numbers can be divided by 4. So our final answer is 1 and 1 half. And that is our answer. But regarding our answer which is 1 and 4 over 8, this is not a wrong answer. Again, if your teacher wants you to simplify your answer, and that's the time you can simplify it. So our answer is 1 and 1 half. How about if we will add mixed number from a mixed number. How can we add a mixed number from a mixed number? So let us have an example. We have 2 and 1 pip plus 4 and 2 pip. So we have mixed number plus mixed number. So in this case, we will add separately the whole number and the fractions. So since this is addition, we will use commutative property in which the order doesn't matter. So we will place here 2 plus 4 and we will move the fraction 1 over 5 added to 2 over 5. So we can add it separately. So 2 plus 4 is 6 and 1 pip plus 2 pip is equal to 3 pip since they are similar fraction in which we will just copy the denominator and add the numerator. So our final answer is 6 and 3 pip. We can also use the vertical form of adding if we want 2. So we can add 2 and 1 pip plus 4 and 2 pip vertically, which is also equal to 6 and 3 pip. So let us have another example. So let's say for example, we have 1 and 3 over 8 plus 1 and 5 over 8. So if we're going to use the vertical form of adding, this will result to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 which is equal to 8 over 8 and this is our answer but as you can see we can still simplify this answer because 8 over 8 is equal to 1 so we have 2 plus 1 the answer is 3 so this is our final answer let us have another example we have 1 and 3 over 7 plus 2 and 5 over 7. So again, using the commutative property, we can move 
the whole number to the same side and the fraction to the same side. So we can add the whole number separately with the fraction. So our answer is 3 plus 8 over 7 or 3 and 8 over 7. Now this is not yet our final answer because this is greater than 1. So how can we simplify our answer? Remember that 8 over 7 is the same as 7 over 7 plus 1 over 7 and 7 over 7 is equal to 1. Therefore, 3 plus 1 is 4 so our final answer is 4 and 1 over 7 and this is our answer. It is very simple to get the sum of these numbers because even though these are mixed numbers, their fractions are similar. So we will give an example wherein the fractional parts of a mixed number is improper fraction. Let's say for example 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 fourth. So as you can see these are unlike fractions. So as you can see their fractional parts are unlike fractions. So the first thing that we have to do is to add separately the whole number and the fractional parts. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And since the fractional parts are unlike fractions or the similar fractions, therefore we need to multiply the fraction with a number equivalent to 1 to make them similar. So we will multiply 1 half by 2 over 2. So we have 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. So now they are similar fractions. So 2 port plus 1 port is equal to 3 port. And 3 plus 3 port is equal to 3 and 3 port. So this is our answer. Let us have another example of adding mixed numbers whose fractional parts are the similar fractions. So we have 3 and 2 third plus 4 and 3 port. So again using commutative property, we can simply add 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7. Now as you can see 2 third and 3 port are the similar fractions. So we cannot simply add them together. So we need to find a common denominator for these two fractions. So we have 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So their common denominator is 12. So we need to multiply a certain number to the two fractions which will result to a denominator equal to 12. So we will multiply 2 third by 4 over 4. And we will multiply 3 over 4 by 3 over 3. So 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 3 is 12. So they became similar fractions. So 8 over 12 plus 9 over 12 is equal to 17 over 12. And 7 plus 17 over 12 is 7 and 17 over 12. But again, as you can see, the fractional part is improper, meaning it is greater than 1. So what do we have to do to simplify our answer? So 17 over 12 is also the same as 12 over 12 plus 5 over 12. If you add that up, it will result to 17 over 12 plus 7. So 12 over 12 is equal to 1. So 7 plus 1 and 5 over 12 is equal to 8 and 5 over 12. And that is our answer. So this is our lesson about how to add mixed number. You need to remember that in adding mixed number, you need to add separately the whole numbers from the fractional part numbers. And you need also to remember that when adding mixed numbers, which have the similar fractional parts, you need to find the common denominator for the fraction and find a way to make their denominators the same so you can add them easily. So this is our lesson about adding mixed numbers. So I hope you learned something from this video and if you want more videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you will be updated with our future uploads in this channel. Thank you for watching Teacher Eldon's channel. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.